Okay, this year there's an extra billion dollars, B, that's a billion dollars available for personal grants for anybody to use. Man, yeah, <laughs> and Congress doesn't even know about it. The reason they don't know about it, man, because it's not from the government. This is from crowdfunding sites that specialize just in your personal needs that you need extra money for. I mean, it's amazing to me because uh, it's certainly a lot easier than getting a government grant. You, know? you have no bureaucratic paperwork to fill out. Yeah, they're, they're <laughs> or no government offices to deal with, you know? uh, and, and they don't know. There's no credit checks or any of these kind of things. I mean, in ten minutes you could be up and raising money. You have to do effort on your part to so make sure no people know about your campaign. But this is what's going a billion dollars. I used to always think that Kickstarter, uh, one of the biggest campaigns, you know, uh, uh, platforms that have crowdfunding, was the biggest. But now, no, it's GoFundMe.com that specializes in just personal money. That's all. And a billion dollars. I mean, that's phenomenal. So they're bigger than Kickstarter now or Indiegogo, all those other big guys that claim <laughs> to be the head of the roost. And the kinds of things they have, like I was just looking at their site right now. Yeah, like a friend who do avoid homeless. This woman was in college and she's afraid she's going to be homeless <laughs> because she didn't have, they lost her scholarship or whatever. <laughs> and she went on the site and got $7,900 so far. She's not even finished. <laughs> Here, a first grader, a first grader who wanted a, uh, they call them a buddy bench, little bunches for a pro, uh, for playgrounds <laughs> so two people could sit and chat and be with your buddy. Now isn't that cute? So the administration, you know, for their school district isn't going to do it. The first grader will put it in herself. Man, what power now we have in, the, in our society. To do the first grader could get around the school board. <laughs> How do you like that? Well, here's a guy, a nice sweet man. <laughs> he needed an extra car. They only have one car. They have a family, three kids they're trying to take care of. I think he, he's in a, uh, the sec, um, like a security guard or something like that. And so he went on the site, got $14,000 for him really to get his kids to, you know, the after school activities and the mom works, the dad works. You know how, how, how busy families are nowadays. So it's helping out with that. I mean, these are personal grants. See, if you go to apply for a grant for the, the government, there, there's usually very little money that oh, you can do whatever you want for it. Usually it's like for utility bills or you help you pay your mortgage or, or maybe college tuition and things. But this, you put up anything you want. Here's a lady who wants to go to drama school. <laughs> $1,800 to do that. You know, and people are, are getting wise to this. Other people in crowdfunding, like one of the big crowdfunding sites, uh, Indiegogo, uh, now they're at a personal website just for them. They have it, they're branding it differently <laughs> than their Indiegogo site. And they call it generosity.com. And they're actually not even charging a commission. Say like uh, uh, GoFundMe, they have a commission charge. I mean, it's usually like 5% or something like that. Plus your credit card charge was maybe 2-3%. Well, they're not charging that 5%. So <laughs> you use them and, and you give you more you know, than you expected. And actually, uh, you may have heard, I, I was mentioned this the other day. People in my city in Washington, D.C. here uh, used Indiegogo Generosity.com uh, to, to raise like $1,400 for a homeless guy at one of our parks that used to hang out all the time. And all of a sudden they realized he died and he wasn't there anymore. And so they, they chipped in uh, on the, the crowdfunding campaign to get, you know, $1,400, $1,500 to have him a nice burial. I mean, isn't that wonderful how citizens now can do, take action and, and, and live in the kind of city you want to live in? It's a bureaucratic and the, and the politicians don't want to do it, man. <laughs> the way you think it should be done, you could do it yourself. <laughs> and actually, the, the GoFundMe, I mean, they say that they helped 1.8 million people with their medical bills just on medical bills alone. <laughs> this is why most people were going bankrupt before you know, Obamacare uh, was because of medical bills. And, and so they helped them, almost two million people with me medical bills. Everything from pre premature baby to cancer. <laughs> and, and there's other websites. I mean, we have interviews too. Uh, 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 the people run these other sites like giveforward.com. That's another website that, that deals in these uh, personal kind of problems. You caring.com and actually they take zero percent of the money also 
or mycause.com.au. That's from Australia AU. And you st it still doesn't matter because they, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, Australia is really close on the internet. Uh, or causewish.com. See, uh, and all these things that are available out there for all of us to use, but we don't know it because, you know, we just think, oh, that stuff is go complicated or whatever. No, this stuff is easier than anything probably you're doing now. <laughs> I've interviewed bunches of people. You know, here's some interviews that I've done. Like, uh, here, here's a, a dad who needed a transplant and he lost his job, waiting for this plant transplant and everything. He's probably going to be out of work for a long time. Raised forty-five thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, uh, here's a lady who's did it for a friend. She raised fifty thousand dollars because a friend of hers lost her job because of cancer. Wow. What do you do? You know. And if you don't help people like that, there's not a program and the government says, oh, I lost my job because of cancer <laughs> program. No. <laughs> so that's why you go on these sites and, and raise money. It takes some effort. It takes no money, very little time to get up and, and start going. Well, here's a sweet story too. This uh, young woman just out of college, her f best friend from grade school dies. Okay. Um, and and God, it was a terrible illness she had. And the, and the family ran up like $50,000 worth of medical bills that weren't covered from the insurance company. She goes on the internet and raises the money, $50,000 to do that. This story, man, this lady, Penny Shaw, Shom, <laughs> I mean, she deserves a hero award. She, she saw a, a accident right in front of her on the highway. Stops, you know, the guy was thrown from his car, whatever. She goes over, holds him while the ambulance is coming and notice his hand is gone. His hand, he lost his hand in the accident. It was a bad accident. So uh, the paramedics come, she comes home, goes on the internet, raises $75,000. For him to get a new hand. Wow, I mean that's superhero stuff, man. So we all can be superheroes now. We're here this young man about his girlfriend. He's like a 22 year old living downtown here in Washington DC. His, his girlfriend got cancer, lost her job, couldn't make an income and everything. He went on the internet and raised $23,000 for her. I mean it, it's just these personal grants that, that I'm crowdfunding. Um, it's not as big as the government money, but boy, it's an alternative, big billion dollars already. It's just starting. This is stuff is just starting, you know, so you've got to learn about it. Don't be the last one to get on the train. Everybody, you know, stays away from something new because, oh, I don't know if that's, you know, it sounds complicated and I bet it really doesn't work. <clears throat> and there's a lot of ifs, ands, or buts. Sure there is, but <laughs> people are doing it. <laughs> thousands and tens of thousands of people yeah, getting billion dollars, you know, uh, and, and if you don't learn it now, sure, by the time everyone's doing it, you'll say, hey, I guess this isn't bad. And then you'll start learning about it and then it's no longer an opportunity. The opportunities are there <laughs> when nobody else is using it. That's why when you Google, how do I get a hand for my friend? You're not gonna find this. <laughs> you gotta be creative. You think everything's on the internet. It may be, but it's gonna be on page 5,762,000 of your Google search and you'll never get that far to see it. So that's why you have to really do harder research you know, nowadays than ever. Even though you think Google does it all, that's nonsense. You know, to find the good stuff you know, that isn't really Real popular that they're the opportunities and that's where the good stuff is <laughs> and that requires some effort on your part to do the work <laughs> but the help is out there please start using it